Welcome back to the channel guys. I am Sam and today guys we're going to be talking about GoPro or action camera mounts for your helmet on your dirt bike. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So we're going to do a box opening and also a first impressions of the Extreme Wannabes Enduro Helmet Chin Mount. So if you guys don't know who Extreme Wannabes are, they are dirt bike riders, enduro riders, adventurers, and YouTubers. And they set out to build the perfect chin mount according to them. And so this is what they've come up with. So this is the Enduro Helmet Chin Mount and it's for all action cameras and it is a 3D printed chin mount. And it can hold up to 20 pounds and it also has an integrated nut so that you're not losing that nut when you're trying to attach your GoPro, especially with gloves on. Now, they say it has a really good angle so you can get the right angle. You can film with your action camera up or flip down or the other side. So some versatility there. It mounts right up with 3M tape, kind of like your GoPro. So we're going to open this bad boy up, so check it out. I ordered this and it came really fast and it comes with an installation. They say test mount placement, clean helmet before, peel off backing from tape, pull back on mount wings, apply mount to helmet and press down on the wings and go forth an adventure and then tag them on social media. They also have a little code here that you can put your phone on and it's gonna probably take you to an instructional video. So, so here's the mount. So it also has a little screw in there and then it comes with a standard GoPro bolt here. So the fit is tight, like this is tight. So I'm actually gonna screw it in. And that's it, so interesting. All right guys, so basically I got my Climb F3 carbon helmet here. And if you see, this is, we'll do some close ups where it installs. So I'm hoping that I get the angle far enough away from my the chin here that it doesn't hit. So some of the problems you have is when you're riding, you're looking like this, and the angle of your GoPro or your action camera is facing too far down, and you want to be able to move it back so that you can get horizon and the trail versus it just being your front fender. So I love how compact this is, I really do, and it looks like it fits for perfect fit, like right there. Um, the one downside is I don't think it's removable. So once you stick it on, it's stay, it, they're, they're saying it stays there. Um, it's not, I like that it's compact, so I don't think it's gonna be as annoying. That's one thing I did not like about the Pro Shot is the Pro Shot was super wide and big and chunky and then you have the big velcro straps that you see here on the side and <clears throat> the cool thing though about the pro shot is it is not helmet specific you can put it on any helmet you can remove it um, the velcro straps will stay in place but this is you can't remove it once you get it uh, in place so I'm excited to try it out um, what do you guys think about the extreme wannabes it's a cool story um, I'm going to, you know, do some footage and writing footage and give you guys a, a more of a writing update. But first impressions, it looks awesome. Um, kind of to give you some thoughts about like which one's the best. Um, we'll do a whole video on that and give a side by side comparison. Um, they all are different. So this one is around 50 bucks. This one's around 40 bucks. And I think this is around 33 bucks. So different price points, um, different versatility. And this one's the, probably the easiest to remove and it has a, basically, you know, it's like a clamp and you can put it anywhere. I did struggle with this one to get the right camera angles and I ran all sorts of different variations. And honestly, with my helmet, the way it is, I, it doesn't 
work super well. That doesn't mean it's not going to work well with your helmet. But this is super versatile. I, you know, I put it, you know, I film myself by putting it here on different things, on trees and on the ground. So I really like this mount. Um, it's really good. I just feel like I, as far as the point of view footage, I've not been able to get the angles I'd like. And I, not all that great at filming. And so a lot of times I'll get going and I'm just excited about riding and I forget about filming and my camera is one way or the other. So I want something that's more, you know, set it, leave it and just ride and kind of get a better uh, footage. And so that's why I tried to, going to be trying this one out. So we're going to mount this up and see how easy it is to go on. So I'm going to remove this first. So the extreme wannabe chin camera mount. So here's the supplied alcohol pads. Wow, they are small and dainty. So I'm gonna really give that a nice clean scrub there. Try to get as much dirt as I can off of that. Probably even use this one on this side to first and then use this second one to finish up. So here's the second one. The coin helmet's probably like, you've never been cleaned before. Why are you cleaning me now? I do wash the, the pads inside. Okay, why don't we let that dry for a second? All right, I think we're dry. So we have the 3M here. Let's try to peel it off. And let's... Stick it on there. I'm gonna put my, the helmet on here. Sorry about my hair. So I can't even see the mount. I can't see it. So that's cool. We'll let the glue set up for a second. Really squish it on there. I actually like that this material is flexible. At first I was kind of like, what? That's kind of weird. But what it happens is once I get this bad boy tightened down, it stayed really tight. I don't know if this is gonna be awesome. I don't think I'm gonna see the GoPro, which I don't know, sometimes I wanna see it because <laughs> I don't know. So I'm like, am I filming? That was like the joke with a lot of my buddies that also do like riding videos. We're always like, are we filming? Okay, so. So I, if I'm looking forward, I can see the very top of it and that's it. Um, so I, I would have to, to see the red dot, which is right here, I'd have to move it forward. So I think the filming position is gonna be like right there. Sweet, I actually really like how tucked away it is. The one downside though, like I said, is this is stickered on or it's not coming off unless I wreck and it gets ripped off. Now they do have a limited lifetime warranty. It says all our chin mounts are backed by a lifetime replacement guarantee. We don't anticipate any issues, but if anything happens to your mount while you're using it with the helmet it was designed for, you just email us a picture of the problem at support at wannabes.life and we'll take care of it. And then made in the USA by a family owned business. All right guys, stay tuned for more footage and also a complete shootout between the Pro Shot and the Dango Design. See you guys on the trails.